What's going on, everyone, and welcome back to Invest Daily. I hope everybody's having a blessed and wonderful day out there. Right now, we're looking at TCG Player. We are looking at the Hero Quest promos for MetaZoo. So, if you do not know, not too long ago, Steve Aoki put up his album, right, called Hero Quest. And inside of it, you can get a special booster pack, which is what you see right now on the screen top left. That was that box booster pack. Once you open the album, you get one pack, which has one special promo holographic card that you can get outside of this CD case. Really, really cool stuff, right? So they did start hitting the streets and the prices are jumping right now. Some really cool promos. They were highly anticipated. Some of them look like robot zombies, some really cool stuff. And and I'm going to go ahead and talk about the market right now on these cards and what they are doing and if they are a great pickup right now. So looking at TCG Player, we do not see anything. Everything is out of stock right now. Not even the promo packs have anything. You don't see any market data. And of course, as stuff starts to come out and it's been a little bit and they start to update this, we will start to see trends and market data and your, your three month, your six month and stuff like that. But right now, we don't see any relevant data on TCG player. So we're gonna go ahead and move over to eBay, the next best thing, and try to pull up some of this stuff right here. So this is what the album looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and pull one up if you have not seen it. Maybe it's your first time watching a video, right? We talk about a bunch of different TCGs on this channel, but right here, this is the album. So you have Steve Aoki, Hero Quest Genesis. Really cool artwork. I love this. This was a great, great concept. So you can see right here, a lot of people are selling this right now, right around $27 to $29. And you can get free shipping at $27.98. So the second one right here, that is not bad for this album. When it came out, um, honestly, I forgot how much it was. Somebody can drop a comment. It was like $7 to $8 for this album. So that is still quite the increase, right? That would be about a three to 400% increase on this right here. And as we move down, we can see a lot of the cards, right? So these are a lot of the cards that are actually for sale. Right here, you actually have a Hero Quest promo Hodag. So there's 66 cards. This is number 28 out of 66. And if you're new to MetaZoo, let me go ahead and bring you over and show you what they look like. So a lot of the promos obviously are always going to have this little promo piece right here in the middle right corner. So whether it's Walmart or GameStop or eBay or HeroQuest, all of MetaZoo's cards typically have something written here to show you and specify that it is a promo. So this one right here has HeroQuest. I like this one because the, the logo actually looks pretty good. It's not just a box like Walmart. It's not just a box like eBay. So I actually really like this. This is the Hodag card right here. So here is a close-up shot of some of the stuff that you can expect if you were to hit one of these cards. You have the Hero Quest logo at the top left. And this is just some really cool artwork. I love how the green around the border just goes with the Hodag, the character on the card with the holographic green star. So really cool stuff right here. This is the back of a MetaZoo card if you do not know. And then moving on back, right? I'm going to go ahead and look at some other stuff. You see a bunch of cards on here, but we want to look at some sold prices. So do not freak out, right? This is not for one pack, but if you want to buy the booster pack in hand, this means that they essentially, um, from the looks of it, it looks like they kept the album, but I am not sure. So you would have to go to the details. You want to make sure you actually read that, right? So it says limited edition CD and booster pack in hand. So you would get that. But this listing right here that sold was for $599.99. And what it looks like, people are actually bundling these. They're not selling a lot of singles um, right here in the sold listing. This was for 20 of them. And of course, people are buying these solely for the promo cards. You had some down here where they were selling 10. So 10 is sold for 25 bids at 242.50 on September 13th. And if you had around 20, they're selling around $600, which is a pretty good profit, right? Especially if they were selling like $8 or so per uh, album. So we would be looking at about 160 bucks and they made $600. But if you look at some of the cards right here, and you can see what some of those have sold for as well. We have to move down quite a lot. You have some best offer accepted listings. If you want to know what they sold for, go to 130point.com. Of course, you have your Grim Reaper right here. Really cool card as well. Another Grim. You also, it looks like they were almost all best offer accepted. So you would have to go over to 130point.com. Then you have a Dragon of Oconto Falls right here. This sold for $49.99 or best offer. So I'm pretty sure this wasn't one of the most expensive cards, 
So that was still a $50 um, purchase right there. So that means if they bought it for eight, they still made quite the profit. And it looks like the album was also added because it says, and limited edition Aoki CD invest. So you want to really pay attention to these listings because at first it could be kind of confusing because by the looks of the photo, it doesn't seem like you get the album. So it looks like they just opened it up and obviously people are trying to pull the Mothman or maybe there was another card they were trying to hit. They didn't get it. So they decided to sell it but when we move over here i want to show these listings because this is pretty much the hit in the set this is what everyone is trying to get is the mothman and this is the rare card or at least they deem it rare i did see some clumping so there was something that was on social media where somebody actually hit like eight of these they bought 10 albums and they actually hit eight mothman that is crazy so right now this card is going for a high amount but this is what the card looks like a really cool mothman right here i love the purple showing his brain right here at the top he has some damage to him looks like he's a zombie mothman really really cool stuff going back to the listings right this is how much the cards cost so right now september 12th this card sold for like four hundred dollars so it's hovering between 250 to four hundred dollars right now it is very volatile you see on the same day it hit 250 um 250 right here as well on the 14th but on social media i have seen this card sell as low as two hundred dollars so I do think these will start to trend downwards. Obviously, when things keep coming out, people are going to lose interest and focus on other stuff and the prices will come down. So if you are trying to snipe one of these, you want to wait for the prices to come down because right now as they're hitting the streets, they are very hot and they are very desirable, especially that Mothman. So look on social media, look at some of your eBay groups and see if you can pull one if that's what you're trying to get. So that is it for today's video. I appreciate all of the love and support y'all have been showing me thus far. I will be back soon with another video very, very soon. I love all of you. Thank you. Out.